boom, like at the end. Turn it up, I'm about to go in. In a game of life, there's no rules. Beta males have now became cool. New fools in alpha male schools. Just trying to learn these new Jews. Or what it takes in life, you want to make it right. But can you sacrifice before you take the flight? But can you grind at night until you get it right? Make the sacrifice until you change your life. First, you got to look at yourself in the mirror. Turn the phone off, you can see things clear. Once you stay focused, then a dream will appear. Don't pay attention to the things that you hear. You got to do your own work. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Grinding ain't hard once you dig through your own dirt. Got to do the research, put in the effort. Too many experts giving out lectures. Got to break the mold that was under your brain. Most people live life for the fortune and fame. What's your red pill? There's nobody to blame. It's too many lames that be giving out game. Yeah, it's a shame because you staying the same. Got a lot of knowledge when the woman to tame. Want to be alpha but can't stay in your frame. The number one coach now, Anthony Spade. See, what you got to understand is when you run around acting alpha and then you go home and look in the mirror and see a beta, you only setting yourself back. Wake up. Feel me in the dark, in the darkness. You got to face yourself, man. My shadows, they follow you. Once you learn to face yourself, then life will change and you're your king. I love your dreams, the night is hard. How you gonna be a king and you're always trying to follow somebody? You're always trying to prove somebody something. Seems like I got some people coming in now. If somebody want to chat live, hold on. Let me go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and put the link in the description. Anybody I want to chat live about the stock market, I just put the link in the description. All right, this is live stock trading right here. I get a lot of questions on the stock market. So today, what I'm going to do is, if you guys can hear me, is I'm going to show you my trading strategy, what I do. And when it comes to the stock charts, all the stock charts are pretty much the same. It don't matter what you're trading, corrupto, Bitcoin, um, regular markets, the yen. You know what I'm saying? The stock charts are all the same. But what matters when it comes to the stock market is how many times you could be right. So in order for you to be right in the stock market, you must have a trading strategy that works. Like, you must have a signal that tells you when to buy, and you must have a signal that tells you when to sell, and you must be able to stick with that signal. Today, I'm going to show you my trading strategy that I use. Now, we're still about 13 minutes away from the stock market actually opening, but what's happening right now is pre-market. When you start trading, this is where you want to start. I started at 7 in the morning, but we're getting closer. You want to start looking at stocks now. What happens in pre-market will tell you what's going to happen throughout the day. Now, over here, if you look closely, I have this set up for pre-markets. All right? If you have TD Ameritrade, you can simply go to watch list and go to lovers and losers. And in the lovers and losers, you could go all the way down to pre-market right here. And that'll give you all the stocks that have volume right now. Typically, when it comes to the stock market, 
What's going to happen around 930 is going to set the tone for the rest of the day. That's why it's crucial that you actually pay attention to pre-markets. So now that I got my pre-market up, another thing that you want to get is, hold on. You want to get your news on your platform. This is very crucial. This is why you have to have a good platform. TD Ameritrade, E-Trade. You want to have a platform that's going to give you the news. Management, Luca, so great like to you have see, you back here on the show. I have news playing the whole entire time. The reason why you want the stock market news playing the entire time is if somebody releases a tweet, some politician something goes wrong in politics, you want to be able to get out fast because typically when it hits the news, everything's going to crash on you. So you want to always make sure that you have a platform that's going to give you live news like I have right now. If we get our uh, tech and our audio together, we'll be right back. Stick right? Around. I got the live news and at the yeah, top of the TD screen, you have you've got courses, tools. You always want that news plan whenever you're day trading. It's because... You don't want to be the one that's left behind when bad news is hitting the scene, all right? But I'm going to turn this off, and I'm going to show you what I am going to be looking for today that I look for every day. So we're going to close this out, and we're going to go here. And I'm going to go right into my trading strategy, all right? Let me see if I can bring this up. Okay, for one, when it comes to indicators, if you started trading stocks so far, you need to learn indicators. Your indicators are measuring the amount of money that's coming into the stock, all right? Compared to how much is leaving the stock. It's gonna judge how many buys versus how many sells. So one of the moving averages that I do is a nine day moving average, all right? When the price goes above the nine day, that lets me know that it's getting a lot of steam. The second day I'm gonna go with is going to be the 20 day. All right. Typically, when a stock's pulled back, if you look at this stock, it pulled back to the 20 day and then it shot right back up. All right. Nine day typically tells you that it's in a trend. All right. The 20 day tells you, all right, the trend's going to continue. When the nine, like you see right now, the nine in the 20 day about to cross, chances are it's going to try to pull back to the 50 day, which is the red one that's, tra that's trailing alone. Okay. These type of indicators is what's going to help you to figure is what's going to help you when it comes down to buying. Because if you're buying a stock and then you're looking at the stock every five minutes on your phone, you're not ready to start trading. I'm telling you that right now. That's what a lot of you guys are doing. You're putting your money here and you're hoping to make the money. You're listening to someone else. Don't do that. When it comes to the stock market, Try not to learn anything about the company, all right? Because it's only going to distract you. The only thing that you need to learn about the stock market is volume and charts. That's it. That's all you need to know. If it has a lot of volume, that means a lot of money is going into the stock, all right? It's easy to get in and get out. If it doesn't have any volume, you may get in a stock and you're not going to be able to get out. When I say you're not going to be able to get out, you have to understand you can only get out of a stock if someone wants to buy it off you. You can only get in a stock as if you buy off somebody. So you have to understand, it's always exchanges that's being done. One hand is always exchanging. That's why Warren Buffett says, when it comes to the stock market, it's exchanging hands from the impatient to the patient. All right? We have this thing in the stock trading world where, we, where it's called buy the fear and sell the cheer, which means that when a stock goes down, you want to look to buy it. When a stock starts going up, you want to look to sell it, all right? So you must take all that into play. Next, I'm going to show you. You see this Ichimochi cloud right here? All right. You must have a platform that has that because that cloud it's going to allow you to know that you are in a uptrend. As long as you're above the cloud, you're in the uptrend. When you come below the cloud, you're in the downtrend. Now, I'm going to show you. This is early morning trading.
but just based off of this cloud and these indicators, all I have to do to determine what I want, we'll go to pre-markets and I could just go down and see automatically what's going up. Come down, see this stock? It's up, it's going up. Lots of volume, I'ma look at it. It's coming up and it's flagging across. It's above that nine day. Now being that it's at that nine day, I'ma wait and see. Typically, this right here is a stochastic RSI. It measures the amount of money that's going in. So whenever you see these indicators up high like this, that lets you know that money is coming in. But you also see the money drifting down on the volume. So we got about six minutes to the market opens. Once the market opens, you get the most amount of volume. That's how come pre-markets are crucial. Whatever is trending in pre-market, it's going to transition into the open market. All right. So what I normally do, the first thing I do in the morning, I go down my pre-market list and I just pick out the stocks that are above the cloud. That's it. The first thing I'm going to do is look at stocks that are above the cloud. So if you look at this stock, it's below the cloud. That stock's above the cloud. So I'm going to continue to look at it. That stock's below the cloud. Now you see this stock earlier, how it just dumped all the way down. All right, somebody lost a lot of money today because it just dumped out of nowhere. What settings am I using? Ichimochi Cloud, 9-day moving average, 20-day moving average, and 50-day moving average. You see how that stock dumped below the cloud? I won't touch it at all. Ichimochi Cloud. Hold on, let me put a banner going across so I can show you exactly my indicators that I'm using. I'm using a nine day moving average, 20 day moving average, 50 day moving average, and Ichi Mochi Cloud. I only use four indicators. That's it. And I'm going to have those indicators come across the bottom. All right? Those are the indicators that I use. So if you're new to stock trading or you just got into stock trading, these are the indicators that I use if you know about indicators. All right? So in the morning, all I do is I have my set buy signal. So I go here, go down. That's another one. You see? It's above the cloud. I don't use the, the, the MACD that much at all. I mainly only use stochastic RSI. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me put the stochastic RSI on here. All right, hold on. All right, those are my indicators that I use. And then volume's going to automatically come with it. All right, volume's going to automatically come with it. All I do in the morning is I first search for stocks that are over the Ichimochi cloud. Because when it's over the Ichimochi cloud, it lets me know it's in a uptrend. That means I no longer have to look at any other stock what someone tells me. Remember, the objective is to get away from what people tell you. The objective is to get away from those emails that they send you. All of that is designed for you to buy so somebody else get out. You have to realize you're being scammed majority of the time in the stock market. The time frames that I use are 15 minutes. And the reason why I use the 15 minutes is because I'm a day trader. I only want to stay in the stock 15 minutes. So... If you want to trade like once a month, you stay with the weekly chart. If you want to trade, big shout outs, David Little, big shout outs, yo. Good luck. If you want to trade daily because you have a job, you want to stick with the daily chart. So we'll come here and go to daily. That tells me what it's doing for today. You see what I'm saying? Hold on. Let me make this bigger for you. You want to go with the daily chart. And then my daily chart on that stock tells me it's just now coming out of the cloud. Remember, the cloud is your friend. The cloud is going to always be your friend. Brown Hornet, good luck, bro. Good luck. Thanks. All right. Remember, 
the cloud is your friend. If it's below the cloud, leave it alone. If it's above the cloud, now you want to start looking at it. But I'm going to go back to my time frame because I got about two minutes before the market opens. I'm already looking at this. Why? Because it's above this cloud. Remember, the cloud weaves everything out for you. Now I'm going to go to my preset watch list because we're getting close and I got to really start looking at the money. I wanted to get this. All right, now we got more on my presets. Remember, above the cloud. Now I'm going to look at that one. That's almost above the cloud, but it got to go up. All right, nah, not too much. It came, you see, now this is a good example. You see how this stock is inside the cloud and it doesn't move. Once the stock, once the price goes inside the cloud, leave it alone. Don't even touch it. Wait for it to come out the cloud or wait for it to drop below the cloud. But the cloud is your friend. You have to understand that. Robinhood is not a scam. You play with fake money, but it's designed for you to lose. It's not a professional platform. TD Ameritrade and E-Trades are professional platforms. Download those platforms and play with fake money. All right? They'll give you $200,000 of fake money for you to learn how to trade. TD Ameritrade or E-Trade is all I recommend. Everything else is for losers. Trust me. I've been doing this 12 years. Download TD Ameritrade's free app and play with fake money. All right? We got here a good game. We need more video. I got you. I'm going to start doing these series, these stock market series. It's been highly requested. All right. You hear the bell. The bell means that the stock market's open now. All right? So now everything should be moving. What we do, we see where the volume's at. Look at that. This is a good one to watch, but no volume. All right? A good one to watch is trying to creep above the cloud, but no volume. No volume means no money for me. All right? This one's a little no volume. Remember, volume has to be your friend. Your volume has to look like this. Yes, think or swim. Think or swim. All right, you see this? This is good volume. That volume died out. You see how dark it was, but then it just died out? I wouldn't touch that. You see this stock? Lots of volume. It's run up, but I won't touch it because I missed my buy point. That's just money I got to miss out on. You have to be that disciplined. I don't buy until it actually fits my buy signal. All right? What I would do with this is wait for it to pull back. You're right. No volume, no breakout. Here's another one. Remember, I told you about that cloud. As long as it's above the cloud, you're going up. You see that? Remember, I told you. Now, when it starts getting closer to the cloud, you leave it alone. Here's another one that just came out the cloud. Like, it's a little bit over the cloud. I may touch it. I may not. Go to another one. Below the cloud. Right above the cloud, but not really there. Above the cloud. You see it? That's another one I'll watch. It pulled back. My RSI is low. Whenever you see these right here, dip below here, this is a good buy signal. Those are the good buy signals when you see these arrows down. When these arrows are down like that, that means that the volume is slowing up. The money is slowing up. But then you may get a spike of volume that comes back. So you got to watch it. Below the cloud. Won't touch it. Below the cloud, won't touch it. The cloud is in Think or Swim. I'm on Think or Swim right now. ICH is right here. All right, this is how you get the cloud on Think or Swim. You go to your platform right here, right click. You see, I right click down, and I'm going to go down to where, hold on, let me take this banner off. All right. You go here, you right click, you go all the way down to the bottom where it says studies. Hold on, I got to make this bigger so you guys see it. Right click, go all the way down to where it says studies, and you want to go to edit studies. When you go to edit studies, you type Ichimochi. It's right there. You see how it automatically pulls up? You click on that, and then it brings it over to here, and then you click apply. You see, I already have it, but that's how you pull it up. So I'm going to cancel out of this and go back. 
for those that are wondering how to get the Ichimochi cloud. Yeah, the cloud on Forex works. Remember, the cloud, no, you cannot customize the cloud colors. They're going to always be red or they're going to always be yellow. Wait, but you can in E-Trade, not on TD Ameritrade. On E-Trade, you could change the colors of the cloud, not on, not on TD Ameritrade, all right? I'm so accustomed to those colors, I wouldn't even want to change it. But the cloud is your friend. Remember, always trade above the cloud. That's, you're already halfway winning right there. You don't have to listen to what no one tells you as long as you just pay attention to that cloud. It makes browsing for stocks easy like I'm doing now. You see how easy it is for me to just say, all right, that's a stock. Okay, here's one we may buy. We may purchase that. All right. My next one is going to be on support and resistance levels. All right. So now we have one that's starting to pick up steam. It's above the cloud. It's at 20 cents. It's called SHIP. Now, SHIP is a stock that's known for shooting up and then it shoots back down. I've been doing it 12 years. So you got to get in and get out when you start dealing with shipping stocks. Top, that's another shipping stocks. Yeah, no one knows about the Ichimochi cloud because you have to understand you need people to lose in order for you to win. You that's why I don't like giving stock tips. It's because I know I have to take somebody's money. It's all about taking money. I'm gonna sell to somebody that think that they're gonna get rich. That's how the game, that's how the game is played. But on this stock that we're looking at right now, it's starting to curl back up. It's above the cloud. Remember I told you, when it's above the cloud and this is turning, this is almost guaranteed money. All I'm waiting on right now is more volume. So my eye is definitely going to be on ship. But being that I know that ship can turn on me at any moment, I'll quietly watch it. I'll be looking for something else above the cloud. You see how this is pulling back? We'll wait for these indicators to get low. All right. And it look like, look at it. When it goes in the cloud, it's going to tell you. Like, look at this stock. As soon as it went in the cloud, it's getting ready to drop down right now. I don't use Market Club. I keep this simple. I keep... Trading in the stock market, simple, bro, simple. I've been doing it too long. I'm not the richest man in the world, but I can sit here and make a living from it. All this is a below. This is the only stock that's still above, and it's pulled back. The indicators are coming down. So what I'll do is I'll wait for this to see if it holds this price point. I'm going to go over support and resistance levels on other stock trading systems. For, it's all the same, Forex, all of them are the same, Bitcoin. Now, let me show you guys a little secret on Bitcoin because I don't think a lot of you guys understand that. Hold on. see here all right all right this is Bitcoin all right I'll pull Bitcoin up for you guys Bitcoin trades the same way See if we can get. Okay. This is what I want you to know about Bitcoin, man. Bitcoin is not anything that you want to play with. Good shout out, Alton. He was on the live last night. Thank you. And investing. Yeah, you did. You're right. I'm gonna start doing more investments. Okay, this is Bitcoin. Bitcoin went all the way up to 20,000 and came down. I don't. I don't recommend Bitcoin. And the reason why I don't recommend Bitcoin is because it's a bubble. It's you have a group of people that are controlling it. 
it's not ran off the market. You know what I'm saying? It's not ran off of that. So I don't recommend Bitcoin. And besides, you're using 10,000 at a time and it crashes a lot. Bitcoin goes up and then it shoots down really fast. I don't recommend that. Another thing about Bitcoin is it's open 24 hours. It's the same thing with Corrupto. It's open 24 hours, which means that at any given moment, it could crash on you while you're asleep. That's why I don't play those things. I'd rather play with the American markets because it's more of a controlled atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? Bitcoin, you really got to know what you're doing. It's a bubble. Corrupto, you can make money, but you got to realize it's moving 24 hours. So at any given moment, it could turn on you. All right, now we're back on to the American markets. And it looks like we actually have a slow day today because there's not too many things. Like right here, this is a good one. We got a lot of volume. It's bouncing back. But we only got one big candle. So now I got to go in a little closer and see what, all right. Okay. This it went into the cloud. It's trying to come out of the cloud. I won't touch it until it comes out of the cloud and sets up shop up here. Corrupto is good. Corrupto is good, but I'm going to tell you right now, Corrupto is way faster than American markets, which means that you got to know when to pull the trigger fast with Corrupto. When it comes to American markets, it's more controlled for me. You know what I'm saying? I can easily jump in here, make the money and get out fast. Jump in, make the money, get out fast. I don't trade Forex. And I don't, this is, this is what I recommend. If you're getting into trading, if you're going to trade Corrupto, don't trade the American markets. If you're going to trade the yen, don't trade the American markets. If you're going to trade Bitcoin, don't trade Corrupto and don't trade the American markets. You must find one market and master it. That's the only way that you're going to win. So if you've been banking in Corrupto, don't come over to the American markets because they're moving at a different speed. They're, things that run in the American market run differently in the Corrupto market. So understand the market that you want to make money at. If you're in Corrupto, stay that. If you're in Forex, stay there. Don't try to transition. Master the platform that you're on and you'll become a better trader. Trust me, stock trading, Forex, all this trading is mental stimulation. It's discipline. All right? It's not my friend said that this company's about to do this. My friend said that that company's about to do that. Companies do really good news all the time and don't go nowhere, all right? We're going to be breaking down details like preferred shares, things like that, that can stop a stock from moving. Like, look at Twitter. Twitter makes so much money. It's at $34, and it stays there. So what we'll do is, I'm going to show you. I'm going to go back to the weekly chart. Look at Twitter. It never goes anywhere. It does the same rhythm over and over again. It drops, comes up, drops, comes up. When do you want to buy it? You want to buy it when it drops. But look at the cloud. The closer it gets to the cloud, leave it alone, leave it alone, leave it alone. The cloud is your friend. Remember, if it's in that cloud, leave it alone. You see this over here, how it was above the cloud? When it was above the cloud, Twitter kept going up. Hold on. Twitter kept going up. You see that? Soon as it got in the cloud, it got shaky. It got shaky. Never touch it while it's in the cloud, ever. Always when it looks like this, right? Hold on. Whoa, that was a fast zoom out. That's a good one. Okay, always touch it when it looks like this. Whenever that cloud is just lingering below, the closer it gets to that cloud, get out. Now, you're probably wondering when to buy and sell. That's what this is for, your, st your stochastic RSIs. You notice every time, let me go over here. Every time, if you look at this, right? Every time this came down here and the price stayed above the 20, it automatically went up. You see that? Every time the price pulls back, that RSI goes down here, but the price is still above that 20, it automatically goes up. Every single time. 
What indicators am I using? Let me bring in my banner. There we go. There go my indicators that I use. And I've been using these indicators for five years. These are the only indicators that I use. That's why I'm telling you in the stock market, you must find a rhythm and just run with it. Don't try to make money in a thousand places. If you're going to do options, stick with options. If you're going to trade the market, trade the market. The cloud is, is representing, is, is measuring the amount of money that's coming in and going out. It does the same thing as all the indicators, but it gives you an overall view of what's going on. Because if I really wanted to trade, I could go down into the one minute chart and go up and down a thousand times. You feel what I'm saying? With little trades. Like this is getting ready to come out the cloud, but it's not going to go that high. It's a one minute chart. Not too many traders trade on the one minute. I trade the 15 minute chart. I'll bring it back right here. So if you look, just going to go down. Today's a dead day, but today I just thought I'll show you how the cloud works. Wait for it to come out the cloud. You see, everything below the crowd just crashes. Let's go to some known ones like Amazon. Look at Amazon. All right, hold on. Perfect cloud. Perfect. Look at that. Fresh out the cloud. Soon as it came out the cloud, what did it do? It took off. Hold on. Let me pull it in closer for you. Look at Amazon. Remember I told you, 9, 20, and 50 day, it automatically glow, goes up. When the 9 day, the 20 day, and the 50 day are all in line with each other, it's automatic money. It is automatic money whenever you have all three. And that's what you're seeing right now with Amazon. Amazon's doing a little pullback, but it's above the cloud. Remember, look, here go a buy signal right here. You see that? Every time it goes down and come back up, the stock starts to move up. Being that this is coming down, as soon as it goes, starts to curl back up, and it's still above that cloud, it's automatic money. You just have to be patient enough to wait for it to come to you. Wait for it. Wait for your setups to come to you. Don't be overly excited, all right? That's Amazon. Let's go to Tesla. How do you overcome commissions with your trade? The commissions are cheap, bro. Like, when you trade on your own, I don't pay that $500 fee that a stockbroker is going to charge you. I only get I only get charged $7 for the simple fact I'm doing five to six trades a day. The more trades a day you do, the cheaper it is. If you're going through a stockbroker, he's going to charge you an arm and a leg. You get past commission fees by trading a lot, by being a, by being a um, stock trader. I can negotiate my commissions. Um, place, yes, Michael, right here, hold on. I market buy. I don't market sell. I limit it order sell. But when I'm trying to get into the market and the volume's rushing in real fast, I buy at the market because limited orders will go up and down. You don't want limited orders. You know what I'm saying? So what you have to do is I buy the market, but I sell limited. All right? Buying the market to get you in fast, selling limited will make sure you get out at the price that you want to. All right? So next, we're going to go look at Tesla. Look. If you look at all the stocks right here, as soon as they come out the cloud, they always go up. Every time they go in the cloud, they go down. So it's simple. Be patient enough for it to come out of the cloud, and, be, and when it goes in the cloud, be patient enough for it to go. Only trade your buy signals. Don't trade because your friend said, Amazon's going to be doing this. People are starting to do a lot of shipping. People are starting to do a lot of that. You can't do that. They cost of operation may be too high. That's why the cloud never lies. Volume never lies. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the cloud is your friend. Every time it comes out of the cloud, it's going to go up. Learn to, to trade that way. Now, below, everyone's probably looking at these little things down here and you're wondering what it is. That's going to be for the next stream. This is a, right here, this is a level two. All right. And with a level two, I can see 
how many people are waiting to sell and how many people are waiting to buy. All right, this shows me everybody that's trying to buy stocks. This shows me everybody that's trying to sell stocks. So on level two, if I see a thousand people go to that price, but I'm only seeing a hundred people at that price, then I know there's more people trying to sell the stock than there's people trying to buy. What numbers do I have in the cloud? I remove all the numbers I have in the cloud are nine, 20, and 50 day. Period. Nine, 20 day. Change that 26 to a 20. Change that 26 to a 20 for the, for the person that's trading the cloud. Unknown, 27.2. Change that 26 to a 20, and you'll be all right. All right, what's that? Tesla, Tesla's pulling back. Tesla's going into the cloud right now, all right? Now, that's on a day trading scale. Let's look at the daily, all right? If you look at the daily, look at that. Would Tesla be a good buy right now? Yes, it is. Why? Because it came out of the cloud. Remember, look how it was before it went into the cloud. You see that? Look at that. Remember, when it's above the cloud, it's going to go up. When it goes in the cloud, it's coming down. Now it's coming out of the cloud. It's a good buy. Alton, good luck, bro. Good luck, bro. Thank you. I'm going to be doing more of this until you guys get the picture. You know what I'm saying? The cloud. Today's show is about the cloud. Now look at Tesla. Soon as Tesla came out of that cloud, it kept going up. Soon as it went into the cloud, it went down. Came out of the cloud, continues to go up. All right? The cloud is going to kill half of your losing streak. Like, that's already eliminating your losses because you're already learning how a stock moves just with that cloud. Now, when we start breaking down the 30 day, the set six, I mean, the nine day, the 20 day, and the 50 day, that's when we go into little details right here. And I'm going to bring it in to show you. Once again, when that nine day, 20 day and 50 day are all in the line. You see how this looks? Where all four of these are in the line, that's guaranteed money. Guaranteed. Whenever I see these four lines right here, I go in. I'll go in heavy on that because that's going to tell me it's going to go up, especially if I got this RSI coming below and dipping back up. That's definitely what you want to do. Remember, cloud is your friend. As long as this is above the cloud, it's going up. All right, let's see if we can find another one for you. Let me pull up another list. All right, we're going to go to top 10% gains on NASDAQ. Here's another one above the cloud. These are all new stocks that are just shooting up. You got to wait for them to form a pattern. Remember, if it does not have a pattern, leave it alone. You see how these stocks don't have a pattern? I wouldn't leave, I wouldn't even touch it. I wouldn't even touch it until it forms a pattern. All right, let me go back out. Like, let's go to Tesla. You see how Tesla actually has a pattern? That pattern is very important. Patterns show you that people are very interested in the stock. Which means that even if you take a loss, all you got to do is hold it. And that way you make your money back, maybe some after it drops. Remember, if let's say a, 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 a stock turns around and shoots down on you, but it has a lot of volume, hold the stock. The reason why is because people are going to still want it. At some point, it's going to go back up. You only lose money when you sell your shares. That's it. Hold on to it sometimes. All right. Now with me, typically on a good day, I'm normally done trading by now. Like that's that's seriously how fast the money is made. What I'm do from here, I see that there's no stocks for me to buy because it's Friday. That's why I did this. I'm going to do this show again on Monday. Because Monday are the biggest days in the stock market, all right? And I'm going to be able to actually show you trading where I can buy in, get out. Buy in, get out. I'm going to be doing live buys 
where I'm going to actually be buying in and you're going to watch the money raise. I'm going to build me a thousand dollar account over the weekend and I'm going to take a thousand dollars to a hundred thousand dollars live on camera. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to show you guys every day to trade and we're going to, and I'm going to show you how I could take a thousand to a hundred thousand dollars in the stock market by using the same trading pattern. You owe me no money for this, all right? This is just straight game for being on the Anthony Spade channel, and you get to learn all the knowledge that I have, all right? I want to thank everybody that has tuned into this live. You know what I'm saying? Michael, you're right. Most, most traders are done in the first 15 minutes of the day. He's right. I'm, almost, I'm always done. By 10 o'clock, 11, I'm already done. And I'll come back around 1.30 in the afternoon when the market starts to shift again. But being that it's Friday, everyone's going to sell off. And we'll be right back on Monday. Monday morning, we're going to do this again so I could go deeper into details with the level two and time and sales. Because all of this that I have up here plays a part. This right here tells me how many people waiting to sell. This tells me right here how many people waiting to buy. You pr I'm pretty much going to look at this all day. This, this, and here. Remember, it is a thinking man's game. I'll probably be on around 9 o'clock, 9.15 in the morning. But if the market is booming at 7 in the morning, I'm going to go live at 7 in the morning because it's going to be easier for me to explain it to you. I explain the best whenever I can see an opportunity there. All right? You're right. YouTube won't flag this video. Hey, the video that they did flag last night, they actually put it back up as an accident. So y'all should be able to go back and watch that video. What about Active Trader? I don't really. You talking about Active Trader? I don't really. They're all. The, oh, you're talking about. Oh, you're talking about the setup Active Trader. Let me see. Hold on. Active Trader. That's Active Trader. I don't use Active Trader. I don't use that because it's not part of my trading style. You know what I'm saying? Like, you may be able to use Active Trader and trade from there, but me personally, I don't use Active Trader. I keep it simple. I look at the market, I look at the cloud and volume. That's all I need. Active Trader, a lot of this stuff is distractions. It, it's pretty much like this. The least amount that you know about the stock market, the more indicators you're gonna use, the more you're gonna overanalyze. Okay, you have to outgrow that. I'm at the point now where I can literally look at it at 8 o'clock in the morning and be like, all right, I'll be back at 1.30. Because I've been doing it 12 years. Some of you guys are just now coming into learning the stock market. So I'm going to build you up. But first thing that I want you to do today, don't pay attention to the 9-day, the 20-day, the 50-day. Strictly pay attention to the cloud. And I want you to do this. Get your cloud set up. And go through every single stock that you know of and that you see, right? And you will see how the cloud works. What internet connection speed do I have? I have the highest internet speed because I got to be able to go live in this platform. I'm letting you know right now, if you don't have at least that top of the line internet, my, my internet is $400 a month because I got to run live in my platform. You cannot run a trading platform with cheap internet. It's not going to work. If you want to do this for a living, you're going to have to up your internet. But you're going to make your money back. How do I predict the, which direction the market is going to go? The cloud. You see how the cloud's on a daily? That's the cloud. That's the whole point of doing the cloud. So you learn... How, which direction the market is going. Listen, don't look at the overall market because think about it. We could go to SPY right now. SPY is going to give you a good overall market. Look at the SPY. The SPY dipped down 
went inside the went inside the cloud, got loose. Now it's outside of the cloud. It's about to go up. This is a good one to buy. Spy would never let you down. It is so predictable that it's unreal. All right, Spy is predictable. Twitter is predictable. Man, you can make a killing off of Twitter. Twitter goes to the same price. It's going to run up to $40, and it's going to run back down to $25. It do it year after year. If you really want to make money, Twitter is your best friend. It's going to always run to $40 back to $25. Um, Spy is a good one. Whenever I, whenever I feel like I'm not going to make any money in the market, I can always go to this stock, put a couple grand on it, and I'm going to make some money. You know what I'm saying? That's just Spy is really, 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 really good. Spy is really, really good. Um, what's another one? Let's look at the Dow Jones. Dow Jones is another one. 26,000. Now, when it comes to the Dow Jones, this all I'm going to say. This is the Dow Jones right here. And the Dow Jones at 26,000, which is good. Um, this is a good one to buy. But when you see the Dow Jones going up, the whole market's going to go. But when you see SPY going up, Dow Jones follows SPY. So understand, when SPY goes, Dow Jones right behind it. Don't worry about NASDAQ. NASDAQ is going to always fluctuate. But Dow Jones is a main component to the stock market. And right now, as it goes back towards 26000 we're only 4000 away back to the yearly high. Once it gets back to the yearly high, then the stock market is going to start moving really, really, really fast. So expect maybe fall. When fall come around, that's going to be the time to make the most money. It's when fall comes around. And then after that, Christmas season will be the next time that the stock market really gets a bang. But you have to understand, this time of the year in the stock market is shaky because it does it every summer. But being with this corona and this lockdown, it slows down even more. You're right, Michael, you are correct. The stock market right now is super fake due to a mass money printing. You're right. That's why I do not recommend long-term trading. And I think I told somebody that in the email. I don't recommend long-term trading. Learn to trade off that 15 minutes on that 15 minutes because you only want to be in the stock for maybe 10 to 15 minutes. That's it. At any given moment, a stock can come down, and I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all don't have $26,000 to go into Dow Jones or $10,000 to go into Bitcoin. You cannot trade Bitcoin unless you have a minimum, a minimum of $10,000. So if you got some broke people out there telling you, I got a Bitcoin account, they're lying to you. And if they tell you they've been banking on Bitcoin, they're lying to you. Understand, Bitcoin ain't did nothing. All right, what else we got? All right, I don't recommend Robinhood at all. I recommend Think or Swim Day, I mean, paper trading app. Hold on, let me pull this up for you. I'm going to show you exactly what I recommend because if you really want to trade stocks, you have to start taking, you have to start, you have to start getting the right stuff. All these little free apps and stuff. No, nah, man. All right. Okay. This is what you want. You want to go here. You see where it says Think or Swim Mobile? You want to go to Think or Swim Mobile, right? You want to open up an account. Hold on. They got it. You want to go here to open up an account. Okay. When you go to open up your account, you want to go to a individual account. All right. An individual account. All right. You want to go to open an individual account. TD Ameritrade. And the reason why TD Ameritrade, they have the best platform in the world. You see this app right here? You put that app, it's a free app. It's free. The only time you have to pay TD Ameritrade is whenever you're actually putting your real money in. But when you download the app, you get a paper trading account. 
They give you $200,000 of fake money that you could use to learn how to be in a, to learn how to trade stocks. That's why I recommend that. What time frame do you use for best probability? I only trade off the 15 minute, but if I want to know if the trend is strong, then I go to the daily chart. All right? The daily chart will tell me exactly if the trend is strong, but for the most part, just trading off the 15 minute chart gives me enough to tell you the truth. I'm not one of those that want to hold on. I only want to be in for a little bit and then I get out. All right. So this is where you guys want to go. TD Ameritrade, download the Think Thinkorswim mobile app. It's free. Play with the paper money that they give you. They give you $200,000 of pay fake money. Play with the fake money. I didn't start trading until I tell you, I turned that fake money, two hundred thousand into a million dollars, and then I started trading with my real money. You have to learn how the game is played first. Once you learn how the game is played, then it's easier for you to play it with less emotion. You come playing the stock market with emotions, you are gonna lose every time. All right, so go down and get this and work on the Ichimochi Cloud. Study this Ichimochi cloud, and how do you spell it? Let me put the banner up. Right there. These are all my indicators. Write these indicators down. Put them on your platform. If you're using TD Ameritrade, all you got to do is right-click, go down to studies, edit studies, and you go and type in all of these right here on the left-hand side. Just type in non-moving average. It'll bring it up. 20-day moving average. It'll bring it up. You know what I'm saying? And that way you get it there. And right now in the market, to be honest with you, there's nothing. Unless you want to do penny stocks. But far as me, far as the pre-markets, there's nothing attractive that's in my buy zone at all. I'll come back at 1.30, two o'clock somewhere around there and chances are i'm gonna catch something you'll never just go a day without trading but the key to the stock market is actually allowing the setup to come to you when the setup comes to you life is so much easy spy is just the overall market you type it in what does spy mean Spy is, a spy is the overall market. Right. Your commission fee is going to be around $6. Mine's is around 4 Because sometimes it's around 2 Because some days I'm going to do 20 trades in a day. Like when the market starts moving, I could do up to 10 trades in a day. So the more trades that I make, I can actually call up TD Ameritrade and they reduce it. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's say TD Ameritrade does a glitch. They'll give me $100 worth of free commissions, which means that uh, that $100 of free commission maybe lasts me two days. That $6 is, is nothing when you're making hundreds. Don't worry about the $6, bro. I'm going to tell you that right now. I don't be worried about that little money. I don't be worrying about that at all. You go through a stockbroker, you're going to be spending a lot more money. Are there tutorials on their platform? Yes, it is. Matter of fact, hold on. You could go here at the top at the chat. You could go into these chat rooms they got at the top where people show you how to trade stocks as well. So like right now, they got Shadow Trader Lounge. Got 2,400 users. Trader Lounge got 180 users. So TD Ameritrade has their own chat rooms to where you could go in and chat with traders live that are doing the same thing that I do. Do I invest for the long term? No. I've been doing this long enough to tell you. When the stock market turns on you, you are screwed. You're going to have a hard time getting out when there's a lot of orders before you. That's what a lot of you guys don't understand. You can have a million dollars worth of stock, and when you go to sell, if you ain't got a million dollars worth of stock trying to buy, you ain't getting out. 
It's easy to get in. The hardest part is going to be getting out. No, I do not invest long term at all. I added all your indicators that you said, and there's a lot of lines on the graph. All right, this is what I want you to do. Okay, I should have did this. Okay, if there's a lot of lines on the graph, I want you to do this. I'm going to go here with you. Edit studies, and I'm going to go up to this Ichimochi cloud, and I'm going to go here. All right, you see where it says Kenjin? You see how it says Tenjin, Kenjin, A span, uh, span B, and this? All right. With this one, you see how it says show pilot? Turn that off. Turn that off. You see right here in the corner where it says show pilot? Turn that off. Go to the next one. The Kenjin, where it says show pilot right here, turn that off. You see how I can turn it on and turn it off? Turn it off. Span A, turn it off. Span B, turn it off. Chiku, turn it off. Turn off all four of these where it says show pilot. Remove that check mark. And that's going to remove all those lines. And it's going to allow the cloud to stay there. All right. Now, when it comes to the moving averages, I put those in separately. I don't put them in on the cloud. Anthony, do you offer one-on-one -on -one sessions on investing? If so, what do you charge for a session? I don't. I don't. I don't charge any money for this stuff, bro. I really don't. Because to be honest with you, I like to do things on my time. I kind of feel like when someone pays you to do stuff, then I may not be in the mood to teach at that time. So what I do is. Far as this knowledge, just take care of me like you're doing, bro. I'm not going to charge you anything. The it's, it's so easy, the stock market, that I'm going to break it down to you in stages, all right? This stage right now is just the Ichimochi cloud. I really want you guys to learn the Ichimochi cloud because when you learn that cloud, you're already halfway winning. Regardless of what anybody can tell you, the cloud alone will make you a lot of money. Trust me, bro. Learn that cloud. Learn. Anything below the cloud is going down. Everything above the cloud is going up. And then we'll break it down into sessions. But this session over the weekend is for you to study the cloud. All right? The stock market is a thinking man's game. But you're going to learn it with me. Because this is where my passion is at. But my passion is really into the videos. All right? I love filming and editing like right now i'm about to start filming you guys will probably notice i'm wearing the same thing from live last night so now i'm about to go work out and do all that stuff film my next couple videos take these dogs to the dog park and do my thing all right um if i see something hot later on i may go live and do a live trade just to show people how to do it but for right now i, I hope everyone got something from this but study the cloud over the weekend. So when I go live Monday morning, when the market starts moving, I need you to keep up with me. Because when I trade, I'm going to be trading fast. And I'm going to be talking really fast. Because I get excited when I know I'm about to make money. All right? This is Anthony Spade. I'm glad I was able to help you out. Study the cloud. And I'll see you Monday. Hasta la vista.